So now we're going to look at measuring liquids, and we're actually going to do two different approaches, right? We've got two liquids up here. You can see one of them's fairly opaque. It's kind of a brownish, khaki-ish color, maybe, and the blue, which is fairly transparent. So we'll be doing both methods. We're going to start with this, um, which is creamed coffee, we'll call it, because that's kind of the color we've got um, that's in this tube. And in order to measure that, we're going to use this fixture. I'll lay the tube down for a second which simply attaches to the front of the device. Now I've calibrated my instrument using its 25 millimeter plate. I'll show you that. Here's the 25 millimeter plate. You can see the, the hole in it and it's labeled that. This plate is also a 25 millimeter opening, but it's got the surround on it with the white to use as a backer for whatever liquid I put in there. So that simply attaches to the instrument. So I've got the aperture plate and the holder in place. I'm going to take my creamed coffee, as I'm calling this, in the tube, and I'm going to insert it into this holder. It's going to hold that firmly in place. And now I'm queued up in my software, ready to measure my trial that I've labeled trial three. And if I simply hit the next button, the instrument will fire. It will measure the color of that liquid. And we can see it's very, very close, 0.09. I would simply, to measure the next batch or the next sample, Take the cap off, pour the liquid out, clean it out if there's any residue in there, pour in the next liquid to be tested, return the cap, set it in place, and off I go. It's a very repeatable process, so that's how we handle measuring an opaque liquid or any kind of liquid where we want a reflectance measurement. So we've measured a, an opaque liquid that we did with reflectance. Now we're going to look at transmission, and to do that, it's going to involve us opening up the instrument, I'll go ahead and show you that for the transmission chamber. Inside the chamber, we have a holder, and that holder is going to hold this cuvette. Now, the cuvette is a basically rectangular glass piece, and you can see we've poured some of this blue liquid into that cuvette. Now, it looks very different in color, maybe, um, because of the thickness of that. We're looking through a lot in the glass and a very thin amount here. So, let's go ahead and insert this into the instrument slides right into the holder, holds the liquid in place up against the sphere, and then the measurement will be taken of the light that's passing through there. So with that set, we can leave this open. We're going to move over to the software, which I've already calibrated for a transmission measurement. You can see right here it says that the mode of the measurement is transmission. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. I've got a color standard already in there and the light flashes, it shines the light through that liquid, and I get a delta E of 0 0.03, because I'm literally measuring the same liquid twice here. Um, but had I, if were I to be testing batches of this liquid, I would then simply remove the cuvette, pour out the liquid, clean it as appropriate, pour in the next batch, slide the cuvette back in, and I can measure again. And I have the same kind of quality control um, metrics and functions that I use for quality controlling all kinds of things for color. It's just a way to measure liquid, and when the liquid is fairly transparent, sometimes a transmission measurement is better because transmission can tell us something about concentration. So if I'm adjusting how much color I'm putting in, more or less, to make it more or less transparent, transmission measurement can help me do that. So that's how we measure liquids in a transmission mode.